CataractCoach.com. Small incision lenticular extraction, a technique of corneal laser vision correction. And our guest surgeon today is Dr. Aditya Varman from India. And if you look here, he's docking the laser first, the green dot in the center, the center. We want to put that in the center of the pupil. So we bring this Visumax laser from Zeiss very close, lining it up. There's the pupil you can see. And that looks like a great centration. And at this point, boom, hit the suction ring, and you can see it completes the suction for you. Nice soft dock technique. Don't be too forceful. Now, the laser energy is going to create a lenticule, so a back surface, which is being done now with this femtosecond laser, and then an anterior surface. And then there'll be a small incision in order to extract this lenticule. So there's the anterior surface being created, and that's going to go a little bit farther out compared to the posterior one. There it is. And now a small incision is going to be made, which we'll show you. There it is to the right of the screen at about 5 o'clock position. So now... Undock the eye and move the oculars uh, in position. We'll bring the patient over to our microscope view and so we can see what's going on here. And so we have to dissect this tissue now. The, la the laser's done, but the surgery is not even close to being done. We have to get that lenticule that we created extracted from the eye. Now notice the settings were great. There's no opaque bubble layer. There's no feathering there. That looks very nice, very, very clean. And now the incision size varies from which country you're in. I think in India, where he is, it's a smaller incision, maybe two millimeters. So opening that incision, and now look, he's pointing that instrument, the separator, up anteriorly towards the corneal apex to get dissection under that anterior part. So he wants to be between the anterior part of the lenticule and the rest of the, the superior cornea. So there's a good dissection, probably two millimeters worth. And now going under the posterior one. So now going under the lenticule to start off making a little pocket. And so you got to dissect the front and the back. And that's the trick here to free it up. So there's the posterior dissection. Now you have two little pockets. Now the anterior dissection is going to be a lot easier. You can just use a spatula here. And you're going to go in to that area that he already created, that two millimeter pocket. Here's the spatula. And this is very easy to do because... Remember, the posterior surface of this lenticule is still being held in place very strongly. And so this dissection, you just kind of sweep back and forth across, and you don't have to worry about the lenticle moving at all. It'll stay in position. So nice, complete dissection, very methodical, very nice technique. Look at the pivoting here. Done beautifully. All the way out to the edge there, getting a complete dissection there, making sure there are no parts that are still adherent on the anterior. Now, once that's done, you've got to go in the posterior. In the posterior section, you can see this is that smaller pocket he made. This is a lot tougher. Now, remember, in doing this, clear the center part of the posterior dissection first. He's leaving the edges attached. Why? Because that gives you the traction. That holds it into position. If you dissect all the way to the edge, you'll get this lenticule folded over or, or wrinkled or crumpled. Or, you don't want that. So he does that first. Now he'll go to the edge of the posterior and go to the right all the way over and then not quite to the subincision area. Now he leaves a central island there at 12 o'clock on your screen and dissects the other direction. So by leaving those attachments there, it helps hold the posterior lenticule in position. Now he can go back and remove and break through that one island. And then remember, there's one more little spot to the right of the incision. So he'll flip over here, go to that right spot. Now you have a complete dissection of the lenticule. And it's not wrinkled. It's not folded over. It's still in the good position. So now it's going to be relatively easy to extract. So this technique he did was beautiful, very nicely done. So now go inside here with these forceps, grab that lenticule, and just bring it out carefully. Beautiful. And it's intact. You didn't leave any pieces behind, which is very important. And now you can just do a little light irrigation with some balanced salt solution in that interface. And then we are just about done. You can smooth that out here a little bit. And he's looking very carefully and making sure everything is out. And you examine the lenticule. Make sure it's intact. This case was done beautifully. A bandaged contact lens placed overnight and the patient's going to have a really nice outcome. So I encourage you to learn all the different te techniques of corneal laser vision correction. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching these videos. Be sure to check out the website too, cataractcoach.com. You'll get the full text and the graphics and the photos plus the videos. And if you sign up for a free daily email, we'll send all of that to you in your inbox every day for free. Come on.
Cataractcoach.com. Check it out.